Why are U.S. aircraft carriers strategically deployed worldwide? The U.S. Navy has ships all over the place, from the Red Sea to way down in the South China Sea. They're like the guardians of the ocean, making sure everything stays safe and sound. But you know what? They've been paying extra attention to the Red Sea lately. Why? Well, there's this group called the Houthis, and they've been causing trouble by using drones and missiles. And guess what? They're buddies with Iran, another country in the Middle East. So the U.S. Navy is like, not on our watch. They're getting ready to defend against any surprise attacks, like superheroes of the sea. They're keeping an eye on those drones and missiles, ready to swoop in and take them out before they can cause any harm. Why are their missions so important for keeping us all safe? Also, the U.S. Navy is getting stronger friendships in the South China Sea by doing team exercises with the Philippine Navy. But this is just starting. What are the missions happening now? Let's check out each area to know what's going on and where the ships are. The U.S. Navy is made up of lots of brave sailors and reservists, over 336,000 of them. They're like the superheroes of the sea. They do all kinds of important stuff to keep America safe. They've got these super cool ships and submarines, like the huge Nimitz-class aircraft carriers and the sneaky Virginia-class submarines. These are some of the most high-tech and powerful machines out there. The Navy does all sorts of missions. Sometimes they're right in the middle of combat, fighting to protect America. Other times, they're helping out with things like giving aid to people who need it after disasters. They've got this motto, honor, courage, and commitment, and they live by it every day. How do they actually deal with today's dangers, and how do they stay ready for surprises? So the U.S. Navy has a bunch of ships, like a lot. In total, they've got around 480 ships. That's a big number. Some of these ships are always ready to go, while others are kept in reserve, kind of like backups. Now here's the thing. Some of these ships are getting old and might retire soon, like around 50 of them by 2026. But don't worry, there are still plenty left. These ships come in all different types. There are big ones called aircraft carriers, which are like floating airports for airplanes. Then there are cruisers, destroyers, and submarines. Those are the ones that go underwater. Let's get into the details. There are about 33 amphibious landing ships. Those are the ones that can carry troops and equipment right to the shore. Then there are 88 destroyers. They're like the protectors of the sea, keeping an eye out for any threats. And don't forget the 50 small multi-purpose combat ships. They're quick and versatile. Oh, and we can't leave out the submarines. There are 50 of them that run on nuclear power and are used for attacking targets underwater. Plus, there are 12 big submarines that can launch missiles and four submarines specifically for launching missiles. Last but not least, there are 11 huge aircraft carriers they're like floating cities with tons of planes on board. Also, about 101 reservists help out the active duty sailors when needed. Cruisers and destroyers have some important jobs to do. They're like bodyguards for other ships, making sure they stay safe. That's why they're called escort ships. But here's the thing, these ships are tough cookies. They can handle almost anything by themselves. Now, Let's talk about two types of destroyers, the Arleigh Burke and the Zumwalt class destroyers. These ships are super special because they can fight in different ways. They're like Swiss army knives on the sea. Destroyers can take on lots of tasks, like fighting submarines, aircraft, and other ships. They've got some really cool gadgets on board, like radars to spot danger from far away missile defense systems to shoot down incoming threats, and torpedo tubes to blast away underwater enemies. Cruisers are bigger ships focused on fighting airplanes from far away. 
They have powerful missile systems and cool tech to fight against planes and missiles. They can also help out ground troops during certain missions. Both destroyers and cruisers are super important for keeping the seas safe worldwide. Navy submarines are some of the most high-tech ships ever. They can do things like drop SEAL teams into dangerous places, launch missiles, fight enemy subs and ships, and gather info or rescue people. In the big western Pacific Ocean, the United States Navy is super important for helping out when bad things happen. They use a special ship called the USNS Mercy to give medical help and support to countries in the area. This ship is a big deal because it shows how much America cares about the people living there. The USNS Mercy is one of the Navy's hospitals on the sea. It's like a big boat with all the fancy medical stuff you'd find in a hospital, plus really smart doctors and nurses. This ship is massive, like almost 900 feet long. And get this, it can hold up to 1,000 beds for patients. That's a lot of people it can help. So why does the USNS Mercy go to the Western Pacific? Well, it's not just for a cruise. It's on a mission to do some really important stuff. First off, it shows that the United States cares about peacekeeping and helping out when things go wrong. That's pretty awesome, right? But that's not all. The ship also teaches people how to get ready for disasters like earthquakes or typhoons. And it works together with other countries to make sure everyone stays safe and sound. The ship is also super helpful during emergencies. When bad stuff like natural disasters happen, the USNS Mercy can quickly go and give medical help to the people who need it most. This helps not only the people affected, but also strengthens the friendship between the US and other countries. Besides emergencies, the USNS Mercy does other good stuff too. It goes to communities and holds events to teach people about staying healthy. By doing this, the crew makes friends with the locals and helps keep everyone safe and happy. Also, by sending the USNS Mercy, the US is showing that it supports good things like freedom, fairness, and following the rules. This helps keep the area safe from bad people who want to cause problems. So, the USNS Mercy is like a big helping hand from America to the Western Pacific. It's not just about medical help, it's about making friends, keeping peace, and standing up for what's right. The Navy works hard to keep the Persian Gulf and South Pacific safe and sustainable. They do things like cleaning up oil spills, protecting marine life, and working with others. This helps keep the area peaceful and good for trade. But there are still problems, so everyone needs to keep working together to stay safe and protect the environment. The South Pacific Ocean is really big and important for trade. The U.S. Navy helps keep it safe by sending ships and other equipment to different places. They work with other countries' navies to do lots of different jobs like stopping fights, keeping an eye out for trouble, and helping when there's a disaster. One big thing the Navy does is help protect the environment. The South Pacific has problems like pollution and climate change, so the Navy helps clean up and teaches others how to take care of it better. In Seattle, Washington, there's a Navy base called Puget Sound Naval Base Kitsap. It's super important because it helps the Navy do its job in the Pacific Ocean. They fix ships, store weapons, and help ships and submarines get ready for missions. Having submarines in Seattle helps the Navy stay strong in the Pacific. It also helps the local economy by providing jobs and bringing communities together. But there are challenges, like other countries wanting control of the ocean and the Navy having to deal with accidents and problems. They're also busy helping in places like Afghanistan and Yemen, and they're getting ready for changes in the Arctic because of climate change. Even with all these challenges, the Navy keeps working hard to protect and help people around the world. They want to make sure they're ready for anything that might happen.